What's going on everybody? Welcome to T3G and today we are doing another computer makeover, let's call it. Um, and uh, what we're doing here is we got an old e-machine computer. Uh, it's actually my sister's computer that a while back I took the guts of this thing and swapped them out with new parts. So in here it's not as old as the actual case is, but there's still a little older parts. And what we're going to do is we're going to get a new case for it. As you can see here, we got the Tesseract. Uh, which we overall like the case so we picked up this one for this swap uh, we picked up since this is an older board and it's DDR2 RAM we actually picked up some RAM we found on uh, eBay uh, it's DDR2 800 megahertz uh, 4 gigs thick so we'll have 8 gigs in here um, so we'll see how these go and we'll, we'll talk about if they're good enough in this video if they're even worth the buy uh, they did come from China, so we'll see how well these work, but they claim they're Samsung 4 gig sticks. And we're going to put in a different hard drive. We're going to put in a SATA 500 gig uh, Western Digital, I believe. Yes. Possibly. I can't see through here. Maybe if I took it out. But Western Digital is 500 gig SATA drive. I believe in here currently is an IDE drive, so that's another thing that's causing uh, the issues that this computer is experiencing. The issues that it is experiencing is it takes forever to boot up, which with a mechanical drive, it's going to take longer than what we're used to since we've been using SSDs. But also everything takes forever to turn on. So hopefully a fresh install, some new parts. It only has two gigs of RAM, so that's going to cause it to run very slow. So hopefully with this RAM upgrade, that's going to help out as well and uh, we'll see how it goes hopefully all this helps it and improves it and uh, we'll go from there but first things first let's find out let's see exactly how bad the performance of this is all right guys here we go so we're going to turn it on let's take a look how bad this is Now because it is a mechanical hard drive, this is going to be a lot slower than what we've shown with our SSDs. But uh, it's not really the startup that bothers me, it's how long after the startup everything takes to boot. So we'll, uh, we'll take a look here in just a second. No, I tried something else. Sounds like it's going. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. Sounds like it's got a CD in there. Yeah, that's possible. I don't think these drives open. Oh, no, that one does. Oh, yeah, probably want to save that. Because that's not opening ever again. Well, that's Paul Throttle's niece. Yes, that's my niece. Uh, if it works any different here. Got its own power supply. The, the hub on the G19 is not reading its 2.0. Oh boy. Yeah. Yeah. This is what I was talking about. So let's take a look at performance here in the task manager. So the CPU is not being taxed, which is good, but I mean, we're almost maxing out the RAM here. Right. And that's just one window open. What are the processes? Uh, well, Chrome's well, open. Right, memory. Memory, yeah. So Chrome is the biggest one. I guess we'll wait. But needless to say, this thing needs a good uh, need a reinstall. reinstall. 
reinstall for sure. The and drive, the drive is probably the main thing that's. And the hard back. drive. So yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and do that. Took forever. Chrome should never take that long. No. Um, so let's uh, let's take this thing apart, clean out the dust, put in the new hardware, and put it in the new case, and see how it runs then. Alright guys, so there it is. Uh, we got it running, up and running. We are in Google Chrome. We got some of the software here already installed. Uh, actually, most of it, the only thing that's missing is TeamViewer. Uh, but it's running. It's running quick. It's responsive. It's fast. Everything's loading like we want it to. If we go into the task manager here, we're seeing here 8 gigs of RAM. Uh, so we did upgrade it to 8 gigs DDR2 RAM. We did get this RAM from eBay. And I'm here to tell you it's worth it. If you have an AMD motherboard, this will specifically work with AMD boards. There might be some Intel boards that it will work with but mainly for AMD it even says in the description because it's high density RAM uh, that being said it does work 8 gigs of RAM it was cheap uh, two 4 gig sticks was $24 and it's perfect and I'm very happy with that I'm glad we could have continued with this system for not too much 
uh, you know, not throwing too much money into it. The next best thing for this computer is an SSD. Um, my sister, she only uses, uh, you know, web browsing, does homework on it, and, uh, you know, watches maybe videos and gets some music. So nothing crazy, so this will be perfectly fine for her if she gets an SSD, then she'll go away from, you know, the loading times and stuff like that. But it works, guys, and that's, that's the biggest thing about this. We didn't do too much, we didn't spend much money, we recycled the stuff, it was a little bit of a makeover, as we said in the beginning and it works now we did have a little bit of a scare there in the beginning I don't know if you guys will see it in the video uh, but uh, the thermal paste off the old cooler was kind of everywhere uh, and that was a problem so we cleaned it up as good as possible and luckily we cleaned it up really good to the point where it's running it's not giving us any problems uh, but it was a little bit of a scare we thought it got on uh, things like the pins and the socket like it shouldn't have so and luckily we were right it, it it didn't work or it didn't it didn't get on there we were able to clean everything up and uh, it's working perfectly fine but otherwise everything's great it's working just like we want it obviously it would work even better if there was already an ssd in there but until then for now this will definitely do it's a lot faster um let's see here so this is a google chrome test last time we did this it took forever to Google Chrome to load up. This time around, it's going as quick as it needs to on a mechanical drive. It's loading websites before. This wasn't even close to being like this. So it works, it's doing it, and that's it, guys. I mean, we're happy we could get this going for such a low cost. I'm hoping she enjoys, uh, enjoys it for a little while longer. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, stay tuned for more videos, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.